I'm working on a tactics game, and the corest of core functionality and features are largely in the game. You can build units from different parts, enter battle, use unique abilities on those parts, win or lose, and repeat. The graphics, AI, sound, progression, and, you know, the entire rest of the actual game are still underway, but I've gotten to the point where just spinning up a quick debug build to test a feature out really isn't cutting it anymore. So to help speed up the process, I've added a dev console to my game. The console is an auto-loaded scene that sits on top of all other scenes and consists of just a line edit node for input and a rich text label node for displaying results in an easy to format way, along with a few control nodes for layout purposes. When running a debug build, this scene listens for the right key press and makes itself available to the user, which is me. The primary logic of the console is driven by Godot's expression class, which lets you parse and execute arbitrary code from a string. In this case, that's the text I put into the line edit node. Starting out with just pulling the sample code straight from the docs is enough to get a basic parser that can handle built-in GDScript functionality, such as doing math. You make an instance of the expression class, call parse, passing the string you want to evaluate, and then check if there was any error parsing the code. If not, calling execute runs the expression you pass during parse and returns whatever the expression would return if called directly. You can also define variables to use in your code if you want by defining them during your parse action and then plugging the values in you want during the call to execute, but I haven't needed to do that yet. This is all pretty neat on its own, but the default functionality is pretty limited and not too useful for a dev console. Things start to get interesting though when you set the base instance of the expression. By doing so, you can now make your expression instance aware of the object passed to it, allowing you to access variables from that script and call commands that exist on it. In my dev console, I have a number of helpful functions defined, such as those that move a unit, reload a scene, or end a battle, which I make available to the dev console's expression instance by passing a reference into all calls to execute. With this setup, if I want to reload the current scene, I just type reload into my console and the current scene reloads. My usage of the base instance parameter is pretty simple, but you can see how this could be used to change the debug context throughout your game or hone in on specific scripts with just a few higher level calls to help you get the right reference to them. So the expression class covers the basic needs for a dev console by handling the parsing, error checking, and running of code, which is great. But there's more that I wanted to really make it useful to me, so here's a look at some additional features I built into my console. The very first feature I added was a simple history system so that I can easily call the same command, maybe with some minor changes, repeatedly without having to type everything out each time. To do this, I have an array that stores every command I pass to the console and an integer that tracks my current lookup index. Pressing up takes me to the previous command from where I'm at, and pressing down takes me to the more recent command. This index resets whenever I enter a command, and that's it. Another feature I wanted was autocomplete. Unlike history, this one was a little trickier to figure out, but I think I've got a method that works well enough for me. As a start on load, I populate the list of possible methods that can be called by making a call to get script .get script method list, which returns a list of all methods defined in the script of the current object, i.e. the dev console, while also excluding any methods defined in the inherited class, which helps to keep the autocomplete list shorter and more relevant. This does include things that shouldn't be manually called, like the ready function, but that would be more of a concern if I wasn't the sole user of the console. It's also worth noting that get script method list actually returns an array of dictionaries containing additional information about each function beyond just its name, such as the arguments it takes and any associated metadata, so I run a map command on the output of the function to extract only the method names. With the list populated, I can grab the current text in the console when, say, tab is pressed, call begins with on each possible method to see if any of them start with whatever is in the console, and return the first match. To make things a little more useful, I also track user inputs so that hitting tab repeatedly steps through the list of all possible matches, and made it so that hitting tab when the text input is empty lets me step through all methods in the list. I implemented this similar to how I implemented history. If I hit the autocomplete button multiple times, an index is incremented so that I know to grab the next possible match. When a different input is pressed, I reset the index so that autocomplete starts from the beginning of possible matches the next time I ask for an autocompletion. I'm not certain what a better way to do this would look like, I know that there's certainly room for performance tweaks if that was needed, but it works well enough for my needs and was fast to implement, so I'll probably stick with this implementation for the duration of the project. And that's a quick look at my dev console. It's pretty simple, but has already made a big difference in how quickly I can test and debug my game. If this were something intended for other developers, or especially if for end users, I'd probably add in some additional safety features to prevent cheating, some help or other documentation, and maybe even a custom parser so that you're not having to write valid GD script to call a function. But for a quick and easy way to speed up my own development, this works well enough.